Welcome back, Seth Wing here. Today I've got two new MC Edit filters designed for working with command blocks. They make working with command blocks much, much easier, and I've been working with command blocks a lot recently. Uh, these are very, very helpful filters. So the first one that I'm going to show you uh, lets you use signs as waypoints in order to make working with coordinates a lot easier. And the second filter I'm, I'm going to show you lets you copy and paste a set of command blocks and then update the coordinates uh, as a batch. So let me let me get to those one at a time though. The first one here, like I said, lets you use waypoints. So I have three signs. I have one that says Tele, one that says Tele2, and one that says Tele3. Uh, and then I have these command blocks. And this one says TP at P dollar sign Tele. Now this won't do anything because dollar sign Tele are not coordinates. But the, the goal is that this command block will teleport the nearest player at P, the nearest player to the position where this sign is. Um, and then uh, th this command block over here says hi, and then it says, it says it to whoever is the nearest player, but they have to be within one block of the tele waypoint. Okay. Uh, that's the pound. The pound tele is used within uh, as a filter within the command blocks, and it just means expand it as uh, with commas, so that it'll work in this syntax. And then the third one over here teleports the player from uh, any or the nearest player within one block of the tele waypoint. This one to the position of the tele two waypoint. Now notice that I'm using pound when it's inside of the uh, inside of the player selector and dollar sign when I'm using it as teleport coordinates as the destination and uh, so this is the tele2 so what I've done is I've copied and copied this red box over here and I've just run the filter there's no arguments for the filter you just run the filter and it will automatically uh, use the location information for the signs and it removes any any signs that you do use. I didn't use tele3 in any of these command blocks, so it didn't remove the sign. Now it's important that the waypoints don't have any spaces in them, and it has to it basically just has to be a single word on the sign. Uh, yeah, so it removed these two signs. We can see now that instead of saying tele1, dollar sign tele1 in here, it has coordinates. Similarly, instead of saying pound tele1, it has coordinates. And instead of saying pound tele1 and dollar sign tele2, has more coordinates and uh, and we can see that these work this teleports me to the position where that sign was um, this one says hi to me but only if, if, if I'm within one block of this uh, this blue block here where the sign was and then this one will teleport if I'm within one block of, of this spot right here will teleport me to the position where Tele2 was so we can see that working so this is a very, very useful uh, filter for anyone working with command blocks that either teleport or filter players by their position. It's very, very annoying to have to type in the coordinates, have to write them down. Uh, having worked on having worked on systems with a lot of these command blocks, this just makes it much, much easier. So that's the first filter. Uh, the second filter, like I said, lets you copy and paste command blocks and uh, hold on a sec. Let's see, copy and paste command blocks and and uh, update the coordinates. So here I have uh, something that teleports a player within one block of a coordinate and it teleports them to another coordinate. The first coordinate was this block, the second coordinate was this one. So if I press this and I'm not close to this block, it's not going to do anything. If I am though, it'll teleport me right over here. Uh, the second one here says hi to you if you're within one block of this coordinate. So we can see that. Okay, so what I did is I uh, copied this in MC Edit and moved it over by 21 in its X coordinate. I've written it down here. I've cloned it with at X plus 21. So just moved it over by 21 blocks in the X direction. And I ran the filter saying that the DX was 21, the DY was 0, and the DZ were 0. So you basically just tell it how much to shift it by and it'll do it. So same things will happen with these uh, these command blocks, right? Um, this would be very annoying to do manually. And 
we can see the updated coordinates here. The x is 671, negative 671 here, whereas the x over here was uh, negative 692. So you can just, basically if you have a system with a bunch of teleports, just copy and paste the whole system and then uh, and then run the filter to update all the command block coordinates. Anyway, just uh, just thought I'd put those out there. I know that there's a lot of map makers out there that, that uh, are always looking to me for new filters, new techniques, and I really think that these are going to help a lot of people out, uh, especially this one. Though This makes working with, with coordinates so much easier. Even if you're not doing teleports, being able to you know give things to players near certain coordinates or select everybody within a within a, a circle circular region or, or whatever just very useful to be able to put the signs down instead of having to you know go to the position press F3 write down the coordinates go to the command block and whatever a lot more effort so hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching